Welcome back. We have escaped from the clutches of the replicants we've been tracking. But McCoy is now facing that age-old question. Dude, where's my car? Well, last time we saw it, it was a DNA row, so let's hope we're not too far away from there. Oh, we're not. How convenient. Hey, hey Gaff again. You killed anyone yet? <laughs> um, no. He's just using random snippets from a conversation later in the game. What's behind here? Ooh, of course. Yeah, that makes sense. If the Yukon connected to the uh, alley, then this way we get back to Chinatown. Like I said earlier, as you progress in the game, you kind of get to find out how some of these places are linked together, which is kind of nice. Um, I actually kind of want to go here. I can't, I don't think you can visit Chu again. Locked. How about Sebastian? Maybe he's home this time. Yes? I'm looking for J.F. Sebastian. That's me. McCoy, LPD. You had a break-in? I... I don't think I called anyone. I was already here. I was chasing one of the perpetrators. Well, everything's all right now. I'm pretty sure I can handle it. You may think you can, but believe me, you can't. Better if I check it out. Well, if you insist. I don't think they took anything. I don't really have anything here of any value. You work for Tyrell Corporation? Yes, sir. I'm one of the principal design engineers for Dr. Terrell. He's a very nice man. You know, he even fronted me the money to buy this building. It's a landmark, you know. You really should see the front edifice. They put some amazing detail into it. You feeling all right? Oh, sure. I'm fine. You wouldn't be hiding anybody, would you? No, sir. There's nobody here but me and my friends. What friends? Good evening, Jeff. Evening, General. See? I make friends. He almost looks real. He's plenty real enough for me. And real good company, too. Look, I gotta check the premises again. Maybe they left something behind. Well, if you want to take a look, go on ahead. I can't stop you. But please be careful in my lab. You got it. I think he might be the uh, one of the few characters in the movie who's actually voiced by the same actor, but I'm not entirely sure. And we can interrogate him about um, lots of stuff. You know the design subcons down in the row, Miraji and Chu? I've heard of them, but I've never seen them. I don't go in for the parties and stuff, and I never go down to the row. Yeah, he didn't strike me as a social type. You ever work with a Dr. Eisendoller? We're in different fields. I'm in basic biogenetic design, and he works on the practical application of off-world physics. He seems to be a very nice man. Who happens to be dead. Dead? He was murdered, probably by a replicant. But replicants aren't allowed on Terra. But they're here, nonetheless. And who do you think they'll start looking for next? Well, you. Or Dr. Tyrell. Or the twins. How well do you know Dr. Tyrell? Pretty well, oh, I'm not sure anyone really knows him. But I can tell you this. He's a great man. And a brilliant genetic designer. Dr. Tyrell and I play chess every week. I've only beaten him once. Yeah, that's not really going to change. Talk to me about the twins. You mean Luther and Lance? They were Dr. Terrell's favorites until he let them go. Nobody really knows why, either. You think they hold a grudge against Tyrell? Maybe, but they're decent fellows, Mr. McCoy. I don't think they'd ever do a mean thing to anybody. 
They're real smart, too. Almost as smart as Dr. Terrell. Maybe they're too smart to keep around. Too much competition for the old man. Oh, they could never take Dr. Terrell's place. How about this? Do you think they're the type who might help out renegade replicants? You... You're a Blade Runner, aren't you? Bingo. Well spotted. But you said you were here about the burglary. The guys who broke in might be replicants. What in the world would a replicant want from me? You worked on the Nexus 6 series, didn't you? Just a little bit. Would you say that the 6s are smarter than the old 4s and 5s? They're supposed to be. Stronger and more agile, too. So, maybe they want to learn more about themselves. Maybe they want to pick your brain about their brains. I think you should leave now, Mr. McCoy. You're no help. Got the straight scoop for me, or what? I think you should leave now, Mr. McCoy. Ah, uh, he's done talking to us, apparently. I'm not leaving, though. I want to check the premises again. I don't think they leave anything behind, but... I want to check it anyway. I mean, just because there was nothing there <laughs> in the previous games, doesn't mean there's nothing there now. We already got the DNA information from the lab. Let's see... They leave some evidence on the roof, perhaps? I swear that this did this not uh, this this cabinet did not lead to the roof in the movie. Oh, nothing here now. No wonder this place is leaking with holes like that in the uh, in the roof. Oh, it does not look like there's anything for us to find here. So, we had better head back out. Then I want to go to uh, the station to look at that... Um, ...photograph we found. And maybe ask Guza about Holland's badge if we have the chance. We have a new location, by the way, two actually. Hysteria Hall and uh, the nightclub row. Both are going to be important locations. Hysteria Hall might be a good place to go if we want to see uh, Lucy again. She seems like she might uh, be willing to help us. We can go to the Bradbury building uh, separately now, without going through De Nero. If you wanted to, but we've done all we can there. But like I said, first I'm heading back to the station. I also want to run the registration from that uh, car, of course. I don't think the lab boys ever show up again after Act 1. No. <laughs> They're on permanent vacation. No news. And we're still top. I think I'm right about the whole if you get over 70 thing. Alright. The moon bus photograph. Moon bus. Let's see. Well, this is pretty obvious. That guy sure gets around. Give me a hard copy of that. Yep. Uh, where is this, by the way? It doesn't look like the moon to me. It looks more like somewhere on Earth. Out in the Kipple or something. Somebody over here as well, by the looks of things. Yes, it's our old friend Sadiq. 
Give me a hard copy of that. Um, and a fourth person as well. Who could that be? Lucy? No, definitely not Lucy. Seems kind of familiar, though. What? That can't be me. Give me a hard copy of that. So, McCoy is a replicant? Um, there is one other thing in this photograph, if I'm not mistaken. This over here, this reflection looks kind of strange. That's damn strange. Give me a hard copy of that. It's kind of hard to see what it actually is, but... It does look strange. So maybe this picture was photoshopped. Maybe we weren't there. I hope so. I don't want to be a replicant. Because then all those replicants I've been shooting were my friends or something. This is damn peculiar. That guy sure gets around. That can't be me. Strange Reflection, and of course, Sadiq. Again, the game is telling us the name of someone whose name we haven't heard yet. Clovis! That guy sure gets around. I already let it slip once by accident. Is, uh... Oh, he is also listed as Clovis here now. I guess Zubin was the second guy at uh, the animal murder then, and Sadiq wasn't actually there. We never did see the second guy in, in the god scene, so it might have been either, but apparently it was Zubin. Uploading personal clue database. The mainframe confirmed what I'd already guessed. The car from Chinatown was the same vehicle that had smacked the hydrant at Runciter's. The car was registered to a woman named Dectora. She'd bought it from a used car lot in the fourth sector. I ran the name through records and came up empty. The used car lot checked out clean too, but maybe the owner could tell me something. Uh, the fourth sector is actually around uh, Nightclub Row and Asteria Hall, so we'll go there later. Uploading personal clue database. I want to do the regular transfer too. mainframe clue database. Though I don't think we'll actually get clue anything. Database transfer complete. We got the the car was registered to a woman named Dectora. She bought it from a used car lot in the fourth sector. I ran the name through records and came. But that's all. All right. Um. Well, I want to see if uh, Guza's here. But we'll do so in the next video.